hey curls and welcome back to my youtube channel today i will be showing you guys how i achieved my bantu knot out now as you can see i already did most of my head just to save time but i will show you guys how i do it so what i will be using is my true by Made natural conditioning curl and style cream i love this cream you guys seen it in the favorite and of course the og nico style Dell. So right now I'm just splitting the section into two so it's a little bit smaller and easier to work with. I'm taking the cream and applying like a dime size to my hair. You don't want your hair to be super wet. You want your hair to be kind of saturated but you want to give it enough time to dry. Okay, so then I'm taking that section and I'm twisting it lightly and then I start to make it into like a little knot bent or not get it but I'm doing it lightly at the root so that it's not super tight because that will give you a headache and you might pop some hair if it's too too tight and I also take a little bit extra gel at my ends so that it can stay put if your hair is shorter you can always use bobby pins that's a good tip just to keep it in you don't want them to unravel while you're sleeping and so I'm taking that I'm doing the same exact thing to the other spots. Now guys, one important tip is to know your hair. Know how long your hair takes to dry. I finished this video around nine o'clock and I had work the next day. I had to be up by eight o'clock. You would think that's enough time for my hair to dry, right? So did I. And I was too lazy to sit under the hooded dryer like my instincts told me to, okay? Listen to your instincts, guys. But, so, I went to bed, I put on a scarf, and I called it a night. Now when I'm done with these bantu knots, they're gonna look like the perfect setup for a bomb ass bantu knot out, right? You would think so, I thought so. I got my little deep side part going on, you know. I knew this is gonna be bomb AF when I woke up. So I'm just gonna give you guys an overview. I had about 20 maybe more bantu knots because my hair is very thick i wanted to give them enough time to dry you know really cute right and then you guys see this you know you see this and you're like what happened so what happened was guess what did you guess that if you guess that my hair did not dry, then you are correct. And even though I woke up, I felt one there tonight, it was not dry. Like the one at the back was not dry. And I did that one first like hours ago. I took my blow dryer for like a half an hour and I blow dried my hair. My hair still was not dry. The ends was kind of dried in the base. That's why you see a little bit of curl definition. But when I went to separate, as you can see, it did not go right at all. And I was so disappointed that, oh my God, I haven't done a Bantu knot out since my transitioning days and that one was bomb. That one was bomb. So I tried it when I'm natural and it's just like, no. 
Oh my god, guys, I was so disappointed. But basically, my problem was that I didn't let my hair dry. I should have sat under the hooded dryer. So I will be trying this again and sitting under the hooded dryer, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this show, Not Out, Bantle Not Out. And yeah, just go let your hair dry. More of the story is let your hair dry. So guys, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This one is a thumbs down, but yeah. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.